Now, Paul Hogan's first Tourism Australia ad might have aired in 1984, but recent figures show the world just can't get enough of him. The latest mock Crocodile Dundee ad has reached nearly 900 million people so far, shows no signs of slowing down. Yeah. Come and say good day. I'll slip an extra shrimp on the barbie for you. It's the famous line that seems to follow Aussies everywhere. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Then came Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a knife. And after all these years, Tourism Australia is still cashing in on the charm of Paul Hogan. Its latest star-studded ad teasing a mock Dundee reboot has spawned well over 6 million views online and more than 7,000 news articles. And when your dad did it, he was, he was much... Okay, and when my dad told me about this, he was just like, yeah, I just came up and you did this, okay? okay? I just don't think he can see you from back here. It's no doubt the world is ready for another Crocodile Dundee movie, so can we make it happen? And Mick Dundee himself, Paul Hogan, joins us now from LA. Hogs, tell us, is it going to happen? Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Koshi. And Sam. What can I tell you? What? Tell us. Tell, tell what, us. What can you tell us, oh. Hogs? Well, what I can tell you was that, um, oh, it, like, just last week I was talking about Koshi um, very publicly because we had the uh, Good Day USA formal dinner. And I was invited along with um, as a uh, as a guest of Julie Bishop, the Minister for Foreign Affairs, and who, by the way, is a real doll. <laughs> I know that's not politically correct, no. but I found myself. But keep going. I found myself sitting next to her, and um, uh, Kerry Stokes and his lovely wife. You, I think he works at Channel 17. Yeah, we, probably yeah, yeah. Know. we've heard of him. Yeah, yeah. And, and, where, where are we and, getting to, Hoax? What's gosh, happening? Koshi's name came up in conversation and Kerry Stokes was talking about him a lot. But I want you to know, Koshi, that I defended you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, All right. great story, Hogs. Now you All distracted right. us. Now, where that are we? wasn't a question. <laughs> Will yeah. we get another Crocodile Dundee movie? The pressure's building. You were on here a couple of weeks ago going, no, no, no. But the pressure had just mounted. Will you produce it? No. Uh, um, I would never say never, but I'd say it's highly unlikely. I, I, I haven't come up with an idea of uh, to do a reboot, and I find if I do stuff that wasn't my idea in the first place, like the third one, um, people yeah. stayed away in their millions, and I think it's just a fuss over the commercial. I don't think there's a... Oh, uh, no. a, a desperate need out there for another Dundee. Oh, yes, um, there is. I think, what, no, would well, it, what would it take to get it up? So you need an idea. The government, yeah. the go we had the tourism minister on yesterday, day before. He said they'd put money into it. Oh. <laughs> it still has to be a good idea. Oh, it right. still has to be a good <laughs> idea. Here's an yeah. idea. I'm happy to share it with you, and oh. mainly because yeah. I plagiarised it from the ad that just went during the Super Bowl. Go you, on, have an, you, Mick Dundee, has an illegitimate child... Yes. In America. I'm sure he has. And he, <laughs> and he comes out to Australia looking for his dad in the outback. It's like a Mamma Mia, but for Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> Who is my father? <laughs> How does that float your boat? <laughs> um, well, as a son, I think it's much more believable to have uh, Chris Hemsworth than, than Danny McBride. <laughs> Somehow or other. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you yeah. stunned how this is built up? Because, look, you're saying there really isn't a need for it, but back here, that's all people are talking about. They love the original. Yeah, that's... Uh, I know they did, and it was pretty successful around the world. One of the reasons it was successful around the world, particularly in other countries, was that everyone thought he was real. If we'd used a, an acknowledged star to play that role, uh, I don't think it would have been the success it was. I think mm. the fact that most places around the world, and we are talking it was a hit in, you know, uh, Lebanon and Chile and, and Norway and all sorts of places, was because they thought he was real. Mm. I think some places in Asia, they still think it was a documentary. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> 
I know I go to hotels and they'd say, oh, welcome, Mr. Dundee. And so sort of like, <laughs> it's lost that magic. You know, now it's a... But do you, Hoax, He's the, not a real person anymore. The ad, we loved the ad. The ad was so good. It was brilliant mm. marketing at the Super Bowl. And there's all these good-looking yeah. roosters, the Hemsworth boys, and all these gorgeous actresses that we have. But the highlight for... I think I speak on behalf of everybody. Yeah. The highlight in the ad is when it cuts to you... And you go, that oh, my God, me. there is, there is the Mick Dundee. <laughs> it's, you've still got it, Hoax, haven't you? No, that was the old weather-beaten Mick Dundee. Um, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I saw him and I thought, who's that? Uh, well, there's Crowey in the ad even. Yeah. Russell, being a bad, being a bad man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that, look, it was a lot of fun, but it, it wasn't designed to uh, come up with another Dundee movie. In fact, in uh, May and June, we're shooting a movie which... Working title is Whatever Happened to Mick Dundee? And uh, he's not in it. And, but the cast of thousands that are in it uh, are all playing themselves, including me. Uh, and the object of it is to be very, very funny. Yeah. And it might explain why, why there isn't, why there hasn't been another Dundee. Oh, so you're actually mm. shooting yeah. that in May yeah. and June? Yeah, but it's not Crocodile Dundee. Right. Mm. But as a movie? It's a, yes. Can you give yeah, us, absolutely. Can you give us a clue as to where, what did happen to Mick Dundee? Did he come back to Australia or did he stay in America? No, well, well, he's a fictitious character to start with. Yes, yes, um, nice, we get that. It's funny that, <laughs> as you know, the tourism... This blonde the hair's not people, real. <laughs> <laughs> the tourism people did a, did a survey in about 10 different, 12 different countries, I think, about uh, what they knew about Australia and who's a famous Australian. And... and uh, in one or two places, I think Chris Hemsworth was at the top of the list, but in the others, it was Mick Dundee. <laughs> and the funny, the funny part is that I wasn't on the list at all. <laughs> 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 Only about, about, about seventh or eighth people heard of Paul Hogan, but Mick Dundee was number one. Uh. It's sort of like... <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. so he's a real character and I'm the fictitious one. <laughs> oh, mate, we love you as much as a fictitious character. So go, can't wait to see the, um, the movie you're shooting in, in May and June about it. Good it to catch will, up. It will be funny. It Good. will be funny, Kosh, I guarantee it. Good. Come in and see us next time yeah. you're home. We will do. Come in for a Thanks, chat any time. All right, mate. Yep. See ya. Lovely. See ya, see you guys. Bye. <laughs> Always a good chat. <laughs> You're such a good I feel bloke, like I'm though. I'm sitting isn't? down with the relative when yeah, I, I when you chat to him. I know. I know. He's like part of the family, he is. isn't he? He's he such is. a good we fella. Love him.